whatever day this is published will be the first time ever that anyone has ever revealed the color of the General Lee. The biggest secret in the history of Hazard County is what is the color of the General Lee. And it's debated till the end of time on what the color of the General Lee is. If you simply say orange right now and just turn this off, you are right. But it is a version of that orange. So they would say it's Hemi Orange. Hemi Orange is a Dodge color. Why on God's green earth wouldn't the General Lee be Hemi Orange? Because Hemi Orange on camera looks brown. So they never, ever, ever painted them Hemi Orange. So then you have Hugger Orange. And Hugger Orange is too brilliant. And it would always, when the camera would drive past the car, you would see the reflection of the camera crew in it. So they needed a very dull orange. In 1975 through about 78, there was a Corvette color that was called Corvette Flame Red. But Corvette Flame and Flame Red is not red, it's orange. And it has a lot of gold in it. And it's almost dull. So when they would drive past camera, you would not see the camera crew because the car looked very brilliant on screen, but it wouldn't reflect very well. So the big, huge, ridiculous myth, but always a good fallback on is it's 75 to 78 Corvette flame. And that's what color I painted my General Lee, but that's wrong too. So when we restored the first General Lee, we went down to H&H &H Body Shop and we removed generally number one's trunk lid because when the car flew Saturday, November 11th, 1978, they removed the doors, the trunk lid and other items off the car. Henry Holman then hung it up in the body shop. So therefore it was never exposed to the outside elements ever again. It was repainted red, white and blue with Holly Rock Body Shop. So not only did the trunk lid unlock the color of the General Lee, but the red, white, and blue of the flag also. So then we had everything that we needed in that trunk lid. The trunk lid was given to us by the folks that owned his and her body shop, H&H. &H. It was promised to us by Henry Holman at the time, and so we took it back to Indianapolis, and for the very first time, we scanned it. So we knew whether 75 Corvette Flame, Hemi Orange, Hugger Orange, Big Bad Orange, or any other combination of orange was the correct color for the General Lee. All of them are wrong. The General Lee's color comes out to a paint code called TNT Express. And whatever day this is published will be the first time ever that anyone has ever revealed the color of the General Lee. It is TNT Express. I will be more than happy to post up all the format formulas for base coat, clear coat, and just a base coat color. But when we scanned it with the DuPont 3M eye thingy that scans everything, all of us Dukes of Hazard fans are wrong. The generally paint code and the color we painted Lee One, that's now owned by Bubba Watson, is TNT Express. And so finally, someone has revealed the generally paint code. I gave it to John Schneider to even prove to him John Schneider has the Holy Grail. He has the breakdown from the body shop, and it also says that the color is TNT Express. Travis Bell does not need to be in charge of the biggest secret in the history of Hazard County. That's why he gave it to Bo Duke himself. It's a terrific guy. He now holds the color code for the General Lee. Say it one more time. TNT Express. Over the years, ever since I was in charge of the North American General Lee Fan Club, and we had our first convention in 01, and then we jumped the General Lee two years later, there are hundreds of General Lees. And people build them for all different reasons. And it may be their favorite TV show that you ever grew up on, or it could be just about anything under the sun. You grew up in Georgia and you loved it or whatever. A General Lee becomes part of the family, but it's your car. But when you take it to a Dukes of Hazard event, for as far as the eye could see, there is not one car that's the same color. 
there's multiple oranges and people say that all the time from these bright oranges to sherbet to all these different crazy colors even though websites all the way back to like angel fire websites say that it is 75 to 78 corvette flame people still get it wrong it is tnt express i i will tell you one thing that i do know about tnt express and um, you would think that TNC Express has to roll back to some sort of a manufacturer color. Uh, like, obviously, Hemi Orange is a Dodge color. I believe Hugger is a General Motors color. Uh, Big Bad Orange is an AMC, American Motor Car, Car color. TNT Express, if you type it up right now, comes to a shipping company like UPS and or FedEx or DHL, but it's only overseas, and all of the vehicles over there are orange. So it could be that. There is a huge Hollywood myth on how the, how the General Lee became orange and what color they used. John Schneider is right on this one. He does say that they just took a whole bunch of oranges and whatever happened, happened, which could be true. And it probably is true. Orange was not a difficult color to come by. And it is true that they probably poured a whole bunch of oranges together, but it just so happens that that formula comes out to be TNT Express. Throughout the years, Ferrari would paint their vehicles Rosso Corsa, and that car or that color is red on any shade known to man. And it just matters what year, this, that, and other. But they would paint their Formula One cars Rosso Scuderia, which is a 50 cent word. And at that point, they are orange, but they look red on camera. In the climate in which we live, I get tagged in countless articles about the General Lee, which is fine. And I normally approach it just with open arms and, and like to discuss the car because it is my childhood. It is my favorite car on God's green earth. Though the Dukes of Hazard ran from the law, they always prayed together at Uncle Jesse's table. And they were a family. And there is a very controversial flag on the roof of the General Lee. And there are countless articles written about whether Bubba Watson is going to paint over his car's flag or not, whatever. It is his car, and he is allowed to do with it whatever he likes. I do know that Bubba still has the flag on the roof of his car, at least at this point. But it's up to him what he does with the car. I sold my car three years ago and have no regrets over doing so. It's in the hand of a Dukes of Hazard collector. And it's in good hands. Even though it is the most important car in my life and made me a car guy and who I am, and I've made tons of friends over it, I wouldn't build one in this day and age. You could go to the World of Wheels or the, or the Cat Sports Cavalcade or Carl Caspers or whatever, and there'd be a line around the door to get your picture taken with the General Lee. But at this point in time, it is promotional cancer. And I saw the writing on the wall years ago, and it was time to let that car go. We'd like to thank Dream Car Exchange for supporting the VinWiki YouTube channel this month. DCX is an enthusiast marketplace with auctions for amazing cars happening now. We've got some awesome things planned with them over the next few weeks that I think you'll enjoy. So please stay tuned, but now browse on over to their site and see if your dream car is the next one across the block.